What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you've had Tesla on your radar anytime during these past several months, you're probably now used to seeing $500 and $1,000 price increases that we have been getting on the Model Y and Model 3. Tesla has been quietly raising the prices behind the scenes. So why are the prices increasing? And will we see a price drop anytime soon or in 2022? Today, I will be covering that and some exciting news for those of you in the market to purchase a Tesla. Let's get started. Elon Musk says that they have been hit by raw material prices increasing, much like the rest of the industry. As you already know, car prices in general have been surging for over a year as the pandemic disrupted supply chains and caused shortages in critical auto components like semiconductors, resulting in a lack of new vehicles hitting the lots. But as bad as things are for new car prices, things are even worse for used vehicles. The lack of new cars available has created an absolute frenzy in the cheaper used car market. Since March of 2020, used car prices are up a staggering 39.8% according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics Consumer Price Index. During the same period, the Bureau of Labor Statistics inflation measurement for new car prices is up 8.9%, while overall U.S. inflation is up 6.3%. As reported by Electric, electric vehicles are not likely to go down in price anytime soon. Like most industries, Tesla is not immune to price increases across the board. With the supply chain issues impacting the industry and the semiconductor chip drama, it isn't a surprise that the price has gone up. What is a surprise, though, is how Tesla seems to be raising prices. It seems arbitrary at first glance, and perhaps it is. The Model 3 and the Model Y have increased countless times these past few months. Every time it was just a bit. $500 here, and another $1,000 a few weeks later, eventually it all starts to add up. So you may be asking yourself, when will Tesla decrease the prices for the Model Y and the Model 3? Well, the answer is still a bit unclear, but I do have some speculation on what will need to happen to have the prices decrease. Elon Musk stated that prices have been increasing due to major supply chain price pressure industry-wide, and especially on raw materials. Simple market conditions of what is going on can explain the price hikes. New cars contain hundreds of microchips that control nearly everything. A worldwide shortage of microchips has left all automakers in general pausing or slowing production of many cars this year. Tesla has been quite successful in keeping its factories running, but that may have required some behind-the-scenes cost increases. I have a theory. The current estimated times to receive your Model Y is about June to October of 2022. I'm speculating that Tesla won't decrease prices until we get to around that time next year because of the majority of individuals who have placed an order for a Model Y will have taken delivery of theirs by that time next year. When Tesla decreases prices, they honor those newly discounted prices to individuals who have reservations at a higher price. This could be the reason why we are not seeing any price decreases because there are a ton of reservation holders out there not being able to take delivery of the Model Y until the middle to late of 2022 because of the supply chain issues and shortages Tesla has been experiencing. Hey guys, real quick, if you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay updated on more Tesla related content in the future. Once these simple market conditions stabilize, I believe that is when we will either see price drops or the price plateauing. Think about it, there won't be a chip shortage forever. While we may not see the same low prices we had earlier in 2021, we should expect some sort of reduced price or a plateaued price. On the contrary, shrinking supply isn't the only factor driving prices higher. There has been a big uptick on the demand side too. Some of that can be attributed to interest rates on auto loans hitting rock bottom levels during the pandemic. In addition, Dan Hirsch, a managing director in the automotive and industrial practice at Alex Partners, says that people moving out of big cities and not wanting to take public transportation or ride sharing services as a result of the pandemic's health concerns has driven them to buy new vehicles. Consumer demand is through the roof. Both new and used vehicles are getting snatched up as soon as possible. This increased demand only makes the price of all vehicles go one way, and that is up. At the onset of the pandemic, auto manufacturing across the globe came to a screeching halt. That's not an exaggeration. In April 2020, the U.S. saw auto production drop 99% from February 2020 levels, according to the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis data. By the summer of 2020, the automotive industry did begin to rebound, but that was short-lived. 
Component shortages and delays caused by a disrupted global supply chain caused monthly auto U.S. production to fall again. In total, U.S. car production fell 23% in 2020 and is currently on pace to fall another 8% this year. The decrease in vehicle production is worse for the market than it might appear at first. The car market is continuously losing vehicles to a combination of life cycles and accidents. That phenomenon, referred to in the car industry as car scrappage, combined with decreased auto production saw the total number of vehicles in the U.S. decline between the second quarter of 2020 and the first quarter of 2021. So what will it take for the prices to normalize? The answer is very simple. The simple answer is for supply chain issues to get worked out and production to return to normal levels so that the supply and demand can balance out. But easing those upstream shortages and supply chain issues won't be easy. The well-documented supply chain kinks that are causing the so-called everything shortage don't have one culprit. It's a shortage of individual components, which is caused by a shortage of semiconductors, shortage of labor, allocation of steel, etc. Not to mention, transportation and shipping issues and delays at ports are the biggest weak spots at this point. On that front, some actions have been taken of the late, including President Joe Biden's deal to open the ports of Los Angeles 24-7 in an effort to alleviate backlogs. But that can only do so much. For auto production to ramp up domestically, chip and semiconductor production in Asia needs time to catch up with demand. But there's some bad news. The chip shortage could stretch into 2023. So what does this leave for 2022? Quite possibly more price increases, but not as dramatic as the ones in 2021. Think about it, there comes a certain price point where it becomes too much money for a Model Y. Consumers will just go to the competitor who has a similar vehicle to the Model Y or Model 3 and purchase that, assuming competitors have more variety similar to these vehicles sometime in 2022 and 2023. My advice would be to place your order for your Model Y or Model 3 to lock in today's current price. If prices go up, you won't be affected, and if prices go down, you can have that adjusted. An important tip that if you make changes to your reservations, such as changing your paint color, your wheels, etc., it will update you to whatever the current price of the car is. So if you place an order for yours today, and then price goes up tomorrow, and you decided to change something to your order, you'd be stuck with the higher price. On the flip side, however, if prices do go down, Tesla will honor that and change it for you. This is a lot to take in, especially if you're in the market to purchase a Tesla anytime soon. I'm curious in your feedback and what your thoughts are regarding this. Are you going to wait for Tesla to decrease their prices, though somewhat unlikely? Or are you going to purchase it and call it a day? Maybe purchase a competitor's electric vehicle that is more affordable and that you can get it sooner than Tesla? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.